Uh, I accidentally called you on my kid's iPad again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I accidentally recorded our entire conversation. And if they, do it, if they do it, we're, like what? They're going to get like a 10% share of a Planet Fitness at Poughkeepsie? <laughs> yeah. Like that's the big brass ring at the end of this? No, they would like, first of all, I think many of the co-conspirators in this case live around me in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, no, yeah. They're going to get like 10% of a fruit market where all the mangoes are rotting. <laughs> They're going to get the last 50 jewel pods in North Queens. <laughs> the last 50 mango jewel pods. They're, yeah, no. Any New York any New York sports club you want to go to in the Flushing or uh, Flushing or uh, uh, MySpeth area. <laughs> yours. They're going to get all the ruined bills from Good Time that <laughs> yeah. have the fucking yeah. eye pack yeah. on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They did, they're going to get like just a grab bag of like outer boroughs no, treasures. They're, 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 they're going to get yeah t- 10% of a Planet Fitness <laughs> in Queens and then they're going to get like a huge shipment of like the losing Super Bowl team's championship <laughs> yeah, merchandise. Yeah, yeah. yeah you alright you kill this ambassador you get to meet Mark Sanchez. <laughs> 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 so yeah, um, hilarious. If for anyone else, this would this like you know would be a oh yeah. You, you like, remember when a, a Giuliani, big story. Giuliani was like he like I th- he like was caught on taping like I just need some money. Let's just squeeze somebody. Let's just squeeze. The, let's just squeeze the the people from Abu Dhabi. <laughs> and again, like the people defending Trump, all star team. Uh, bedpan mouth himself, Rudy Giuliani, who's again like all of these guys, sundowning, doddering, uh, just just sliding into dementia, drooling on TV and rambling incoherently. Yeah. Then, oh, our boy the Alan Dershowitz, yeah, bringing in Alan. Yo, that that is yo yo. When you're super innocent of something, <laughs> you get Alan Dershowitz on your side, which is great because the only other times he's not on TV defending Trump, he's denying um right. Rousseau. So right, they're like right, they like. It goes to him on Tucker, and he's like, and by the way, uh, getting a, a massage from your niece is okay. And they're like, Alan, this is about the impeachment. Oh, right. Totally innocent. I've been- by the way, it's 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 anti-Semitic not to own a soda stream. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. I've never had any woman outside of my immediate family. <laughs> well, hey, it's like, Tucker is like... So if Tucker is like fully on board with this Nazi shit, it is brilliant for him to have Alan Dershowitz on because oh yeah, if you have never seen a Jew in your life before, which I'm sure like a lot of Tucker's viewers haven't, and your first that's your first guy, just the ugliest and most annoying man of all time, yeah. <laughs> and also one of the most like manifestly evil yeah, human beings evil, alive, evil, like... annoying, hideous. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh. Tucker. I'm here to. T- I I have I have notes of every massage I've ever gotten, and we're gonna go through them. <laughs> I only, I didn't come in most of them. <laughs> and he's hanging out now with Ken Starr. Ken Starr, which is hilarious. A because he literally presided over a pull sh- an impeachment where there was no crime, <laughs> and now is saying that doing all the crime is not an impeachable offense. <laughs> yeah. But the only other time he co- he worked with uh, uh, Dershowitz on a case what? was Jeffrey fucking Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So you good. Remember, how do the Q people walk around without their heads just splitting in half? This country owns. Yeah. No, I, but I, mean, like, I it love just, this country. Like, I mean, it, it, it's hilarious on its face, and like there are so many crimes that he should be impeached for. But I don't give a fuck because the Democrats suck. This whole impeachment thing is a dog. Yeah. It is. It, it's not helping them at all. Or, or again, most importantly, making it at all likely that Trump will be removed from office. Twenty Republicans would have to vote to it's remove. Just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Twenty guys who would just be putting a giant bullseye on their head to say any fucking used car dealer or like local cop who got off from shooting a black guy or like weatherman to just run against them and win by saying he fucking removed so our again, friend, it's our big like boy that you, we love. The only way to remove Trump from office is in this election in November. Yes. That's the only fucking way to do it or else you're going to be stuck with it like you know, yeah. f- forever, maybe. Oh, we got rid of Trump and now we have a President Pence. But yeah. So, but to Who that- could preside over like this, this bubble economy without all of the culture war shit that pisses people off. But to that point, though, that if we all agree that the only if, if if you care about getting this you know obviously criminal monster out of the white the, out of the job of you know president of the United States the only way that you're going to do that you know you can whine all you want about what's fair or just or America or any of that, all that bullshit the only way you're going to do it is through an election and you have to beat them at the at the ballot box yeah. right to that point though there is an issue I want to talk about that like if you know our boy Bernard gets the nomination or any Democrat running against Trump, there's an issue that they're going to have to contend with. 
And that is, you know, Trump is, uh, you know, the election hasn't started for him yet. You know, yes. like it's just like he, we, you know, he's going to he's going to when he when he starts campaigning and he's previewing an issue now at, 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 at the rallies that, you know, whoever the Democratic nominee is, is going to have to contend with. And honestly, I'm worried about it. We're, you're, they're going to have to have an answer for this. The issue, of course, I'm talking about is the um, ever decreasing power of America's toilets. I mean, yes, it really is and the kitchen table issue of America. this. Yes. Honestly, like he he's going to hit the campaign trail. He's going to hit it hard. And the issue he's going to talk the most about is that our dumps are just not flushing anymore. <laughs> our no, big yeah. fucking sweaty cubic uh, protein dumps aren't going down into these. The, you gotta these we don't want to go duty. <laughs> You're gonna, you have to flush three, four, five times. The, the dumps, they're, just, they're not going yeah. away. He, right. And he hasn't even like, he has an October surprise about washing machines and dryers. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, no, he loves talking terrifying. about washing machines now. Yeah. Was he says like, does anyone... You said the old washing machines. You press the button, it goes boom! It explodes. You open it, and there's a big gust. And that, once again, he is describing a commercial. Because all the, he's all the, never he's there, like that was seen a washing machine. That was the and did, like when do you think Donald Trump has ever like put his finger on a dishwasher? Never, <laughs> like, never, zero, never. Chance, zero times, like, zero times. No, but yeah, no. He's like you open. You should be. You open the dishwasher, and all the scrubbing bubbles would come out and talk to you. <laughs> so yeah, no, he's saying, was, and you so, put in the detergent that looked like Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, no, he, he's hitting hard that uh, because of I I assume what are tighter regulations on you know, wastewater that uh, dishwashers and toilets are not as powerful as they used to be. And I gotta say, Bernie Sanders, whoever, better have a fucking response to this because you know. I think that this is an issue that like Americans will really respond to and will really resonate with them. And not only that, if Bernard does get the nomination, Trump will be able to do his version of Bernie Sanders' campaign pitch, which is that, broadly speaking, over the last 40 years, the productivity of American workers has risen dramatically while wages have remained stagnant. It's a very important thing that he talks about, and like it, it sums up a lot of stuff, and that's like a meat and potatoes issue that, that people understand and relate to. Everyone's working harder for less money than they ever have before, even if you have a good job, technically. Mm -hmm. Trump, I think, is going to reverse engineer that exact same pitch, but make it about shitting. Yes. Yeah. He's going to just say, remember, in 40 years ago, 40 years ago, the toilets were strong. Over the last 40 years, the size of our dumps have gotten bigger. The toilets... Stay the same. The portions this, are getting larger. Uh, We're eating more. The dumps, they're huge. We can't, our, our dumps are not going down the toilets. Sometimes we have to use our hands. We have to, <laughs> we have, we have to poop in the shower <laughs> and use our feet to push it down the drain. Trump, it, I mean, Trump hasn't even brought out his hairspray yet, stuff yet. That kill. Uh, no, they the, the, love the, that. The, the, the those coal miners in West Virginia loved it when he complained about the hairspray not holding as well as it used to. <laughs> yeah. A real thing that happened, and I still cannot get my head that around. That is one of the greatest things that's ever. <laughs> so just that, a, a I bunch just, of salt of the earth coal miner ass guys uh, who would disown a gay son, and this big boy is up there going, "The, oh, the spray used to work so good." Oh, no, but I mean, I can see what's going to happen, though. Uh, Bernie Sanders campaign people, if you're listening, like you got to start, get, you got to start gaming yeah. for this now, because Bernie's going to get out there and he's going to be talking meat and potatoes, economics, like you know, healthcare, jobs, wages, unions, things like that. Trump's going to come out and talk about how your dumps don't go down the toilet anymore. Bernie, and he's going to promise to change it, and if you don't have a good answer for that. Uh, you're going to get stitched up. Bernie keeps talking about the meat and potato issues, but I ask you, where did the meat and potatoes end up? That's right, the toilet, and they won't go down because the toilets don't work anymore. Sometimes I come back to the toilet 12 hours, two, three days later, there's still duty in it. It's still <laughs> floating around. It won't go away. It won't go away. Back in America used to be strong. The duty, you could, you could, you could wipe with a whole roll of toilet paper, you hit the foot, you go boom. You might get it all boom bang, this, bing. Honestly. It all it all goes down. You might actually get Virgil's vote off of off yeah. of this. <laughs> yeah. He could split the coalition here. I it's hear dangerous. there's a video where James O'Keefe goes to Bernie's house and he has to flush his toilet nine times. <laughs> there you go. His yeah. The, the last thing he's going to propose is that everybody's house gets the toilets at like department stores and you know mall, like the big whoosh ones. Yeah. The one the, the industrial ones. Yeah. Industry like exactly. And this is. This is an issue that matters to Americans. Like our our dumps are huge, and our infrastructure cannot deal with it. What are we gonna do with the doo doo? <laughs> exactly. 
So again, if you're the Sanders campaign or really any Democratic uh, strategist out there, please yeah. start thinking. Get about on the whiteboard with us. 